Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame, and today I'm going to speak about Ridley Scott's new film, The Martian. Ready? Matt Damon stars in this as a member of a space exploration who is left behind on Mars and is thought to be dead. Surprise! But this film has many precedents. Mission to Mars in 2000 by Brian De Palma, uh, where Don Cheadle is left for dead on the Red Planet is another one. And there's also Robinson Crusoe on Mars, 1964, oh, which is a really beautiful film as well. I have with what's left in my tank and one reserve cylinder enough oxygen for Oh, about 60 hours. But one of the things I want to talk about here is, is the inventions in science fiction which actually make it and the inventions which don't really make it. So here's just some of the films that really sort of tell the future of science fiction and some of them that don't. Metropolis, which is really the grandfather of all of these films in 1927, predicted futuristic cities, but also the dystopian future, the very, very rich versus the very, very poor, which was picked up in Blade Runner, also by Ridley Scott. And then there's the film that everyone forgets, Things to Come. This time there's no attempt to land on the moon. Which actually predicted World War II and had a script by H.G. Wells. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. 2001 A Space Odyssey, which is Stanley Kubrick's absolute masterpiece, uh, featured HAL, a talking computer, and so we're seeing that coming into the future. Forbidden Planet predicted all sorts of things like holograms. It also had Robbie the Robot, a robot who could manufacture anything. Star Wars, of course, has predicted lots of things and also created lots of new technology and sort of like brought the digital hologram era, you know, the holograms are being projected and now we're seeing holograms on news programs and hologram actually performances by artists who can't be there at the same time. Uh, Star Trek, cell phones, uh, hand-free communications. We're beaming up, notify transporter room. Total Recall featured uh, the Johnny Cab. And Minority Report also showed computer-driven vehicles. And we are very much into the computer-driven vehicle things. They're being tested right now as something that's coming forward. Welcome to Texaco. You can trust your car to the system with the star. There's other things that didn't work out so well. Uh, Back to the Future 2's flying cars, we're still waiting for that. Jurassic Park promised us living, breathing dinosaurs, but thankfully we're still away from that. And uh, Time Cop, for example, which talked about time travel is something which is still very much in the future. Look, I'm not hurting anybody. I've got to take you back. Even though things like Mad Max, where we're living in a post-apocalyptic uh, world, are far away, and also Waterworld, thankfully, has never come to pass, I would argue that films like Metropolis and Blade Runner really are quite accurate in predicting where society is headed if we don't do something about it, because New York City right now, which is my hometown, is very much like Metropolis in a way, because we do have the very, very rich and the rest who serve them. Even apartment buildings now where the rich buy an apartment building on the 80th floor and they have their servants on the 10th floor. So then we're really getting into Metropolis territory. So sci-fi films, sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But this new film, The Martian, which I look, eagerly look forward to, is the latest film from Ridley Scott, which gives us a look into the future. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.